name's Zoe Naylor. When I was a kid, one of my favourite family holidays was here to Kakadu. Standing here today, I can't believe it's taken me so long to come back here. I'm now on my way to meet Natasha Nudgy, granddaughter of the legendary Bill Nudgy, who was a key figure in the creation of Kakadu as a national park. This area that we're in, this is Cannon Hill, or Dajanuru, uh, Amarkanankan. This is where uh, Stone Country meets your floodplains and your freshwater billabongs. So you've got a lot of different varieties of, of hunting and gathering going on in this area. What's important to you to carry on from your grandfather's legacy? I always knew that I'd be doing similar things to what my grandfather done. Speaking up for this country, making sure that people weren't doing the wrong things out here. The important thing of it is carrying that on for him. He was a hard-working man right from when he was a young man. And when he'd sit out on this country, he had a smile, even though he wasn't smiling. He had a smile on his face, in his eyes. And he was so proud of this country and his hard work and his family. And that's what I want for my family too, and my dad. Because everyone's worked hard over the past years to get to where we are now as a national park, it's opened up the eyes uh, of a lot of people to look after country more, look after the animals that you have in your country a little bit more. I love Kakadu because it gives you that chance to be a part of the country and learn from the country, not take from it. This is my home. It's the best home, I reckon. One thing I've really loved about this journey has been the chance to meet the traditional owners of the land and hear how the landscape, the weather and the wildlife are interwoven with their culture, stories and rock art. As you see, one of the um, very important art I believe here in this area is Namaragon. And Namaragon is here on my, on my left. Uh, that's Namaragon, it's a really powerful ancestor of, uh, of this area. And then um, this is where uh, Namaragon rested and this is where, that's why we call it a lightning dream in Namaragon. And I believe that there's this sacred artwork all through this region of Kakadu, is that right? Oh yes, yes, there's a lot of art, uh, art sites uh, in, in the park and um, that's good because uh, these um, show the visitors and to learn about our culture when they come and visit Kakadu. One of the great memories I have of Kakadu is the incredible wildlife and scenery. It's sunrise here on the South Alligator River in Kakadu. It's dead quiet, the water is glassy and you can hear birds everywhere. I've seen wild brumbies on the side of the river and huge crocs. It's out of this world. When I got back to shore, I just had to share my experience with local guide, Nihilus Vagona. Nihilus, that was incredible. I can't believe how many types of animals we saw and, and the bird life. I mean, how many types of birds are there out here? Well, we have one third of Australia's bird species here alone in Kakadu, so that's pretty much up to uh, 250 types of bird and then we have up to 150 of migratory birds that come places such as Siberia, Papua New Guinea, Russia. And the other thing I really loved about this morning was all the changing colours. Like every where you looked, it was just like rainbows, really. That's the best part I like to uh, uh, start my day off is in the morning cruise, is everything comes to life. Well, my experience of Kakadu was even better the second time around and hearing the personal stories from Nihilus, Jeff and Natasha just, well, it made this trip so special. So I guess I'll just have to come back again.